Hello! So this week is International Week of the Deaf. Yeah! And I'm going to be making three videos that are about deafness. The first one is what I can and can't hear. The second one is why I wear hearing aids. The third one is my most asked question, why I don't sound deaf. This is the very first video and you can find the rest of them on my channel. What can I hear? Excellent question. It's quite a difficult thing to describe because obviously I, I live inside my own head. What I hear is sort of what I, what I hear. It took me a long time to even realise that I was going deaf. Um, I sort of started at about 15 and it went on till 18 when I went to university and kind of realised that I couldn't hear anything. I should probably point out that before then I had been really ill and I was spending most of my time in hospital or in my bed at home and I wasn't really talking to a lot of people. I was mainly reading and writing, so <laughs> these aren't things that require ears. I was also watching an awful lot of Gossip Girl. Subtitles are my mind. But this video is about my hearing right now. Uh, it's obviously different in both ears. My left one is much worse than my right one. The left one is now, I think, 85% hearing loss, and the right one, I think, is 65%. They're also, but it's not just um, how much I can hear, it's also about what I can hear. So I can hear different pitches to different uh, degrees. If it's a very low pitched thing, I can generally hear it better. Did you like my low voice? If it's really high pitched, then I can't hear it at all. Even if it's really, really loud. Even if I am wearing my hearing aids, they won't help me hear something that's very high pitched. So an alarm, for instance, I can sit next to the alarm just and have no idea why all these different people are just running around everywhere. Maybe they're screaming. I don't know. Screaming is also high pitched. I probably wouldn't be able to hear that. Uh, without my hearing aids in, sound sort of comes to me as if I am underwater or like I have cotton wool buds stuck in my ears and then a wall of glass on the outside. Does that make sense? So it's already fuzzy, but then there's also a wall. If you can imagine attempting to hear someone through a wall whilst wearing cotton wool buds in your ears, that's my hearing. What that also means is that there's no directional hearing. Uh, if there is a noise, I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know, I'm like, oh my god, what, what's happening? Where is it? What's going on? I don't know. That's my face all the time. <laughs> no, it's not. I generally give up on trying. If there's just two people and we are sitting in a room together and it's silent, then yes, you will have my attention. I can see you. I know that you're talking. If I am reading something and I get the fuzz noise, I obviously know to look up at you because it's only you here. Only you. However, if we are in a room that is absolutely full of people everywhere, then that's just a wall. That's a wall of sound and I'm not going to know if you're speaking to me, even if you're sitting right next to me. Without my hearing aids in, I can't pick apart words. Your voice is exactly the same to me as every other general noise that you would have in a room, whether that's a radiator that is quite noisy or a fridge, uh, the dishwasher is on, something like that. It's all one thing. I can't, there are no different notes to me. Strangely, even though I can't hear high notes but I can hear low notes, I can't tell you what is a high note and what is a low note. Does that make sense to you? But with my hearing aids in, they basically block out the different noises that aren't in the human voice range. So I'll only be getting voice noises. 
and that obviously makes it a lot easier for me then to if I'm making a video with Claudia, she's sat next to me, and she's talking, I won't be able to tell you what the words are that she is saying just exactly. I can't repeat that back to you, but I'll get the idea of what she's saying because I'll have got a few words of that sentence and my brain will put together those words and some words to go in the gaps and it'll be like, she probably means this, or it's probably that. And I know when to laugh because because <laughs> she does her little face. I don't know tones, I can't tell you the pitch of something, I can't tell you the note, but I can tell you that some sounds are like this, and some sounds are like this, and some sounds are like this. Yeah, that's how I think of sounds. And a sound like this, well, no, a sound like this is a funny sound. That's someone telling a joke. This is how my brain works. And um, this is generally probably why I'm so freaking tired all the time, because I've got no clue what's going on. But my brain is really trying incredibly hard to work out what the hell it is. So we've got this word, but then this word, but, mm, but maybe this, but, mm, but this, mm. And that's what my brain is doing at breakneck speed because the speed of speech is incredible. And so I'm trying to put that all together in my brain, trying to work out what she's saying. There's definitely a thing, but there's no, ha joke. A few things about my deafness. Yelling isn't particularly helpful. It makes the sound louder, but it doesn't make it clearer. And the clarity is my problem. Although obviously a, a, a level of volume is helpful. If you are whispering to me and I can't see your lips to lip read, what's the point? I'm sorry, you have to write your secrets down. I'll burn it. Yelling is also not very helpful because it really distorts the shape of your mouth. If you are yelling, then your lips are doing something very different. I'm trying not to yell because the, the dogs will move. As if, as if anything can move Walter. Look at him. You alright there, bud? You okay? Okay. Oh, poor little chap. It's been a busy morning. He uh, ate some breakfast. But ways that you can help me to understand what you're saying would be speaking quite clearly, not covering your mouth, not having a beard, preferably not eating at the same time. Lowering your tone can actually be quite helpful, especially if you are a girl who has quite a high-pitched voice. Uh, in a group setting, please don't talk over other people and get my attention if I am looking somewhere else. That's also helpful. Claudia spends her whole life just coming up to me like... Or stamping. Stamping also works quite well if we have bare feet and we're walking around the house and she needs my attention. She just smacks her foot down on the floor quite a few times. Ooh. Vibration. Um, I hope you found this video very helpful in relation to this one little deaf girl and my own hearing. Obviously I think the most important thing that you can take away from this is that all deaf people are different. Everyone's hearing is different. The reasons for our deafness, all different. How we cope with that deafness, all different. How we feel about that deafness, all different. There is no one size fits all. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, hit the like button, thank you, and hit subscribe. Watch some other of my videos, please, because YouTube demonetizes them, because they are about deafness and disability. And happy International Week of the Deaf. <laughs>